Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we are going to go over the new operation slash event that is coming to Halo Infinite on November 14th, so next week. Okay, before we get into the video, Halo's YouTube and Twitter and social media accounts just tweeted a new little teaser trailer. We're going to watch that. It's nothing too crazy, but I figured maybe you guys would want to watch it because we're going to talk a little bit about it later on in the video. Nice. We're going to talk about some other things too, such as the Halo Mark V pricing and potentially how a lot of these events will be changing in the future. There's been some leaks, so we're going to go over a little bit of that right now. But first, I just want to say thank you all for all the support. As always, you all are amazing. We are grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers, and I would greatly appreciate it if you just subbed. I know 96% of you who watch the videos don't sub, so it's just like, go ahead. Go ahead and click that button. All right, that was my quick little shout-out to myself. So for those who don't know, the Season 5 Reckoning Battle Pass will be available for all players between October 17th, which is when the season started, and November 14th, which is when the operation starts. So previously, we had events that were supposed to be themed, and they were rotated in and out of the game, but with Season 5, events are now going to turn into longer-running operations. They'll still have a full reward track for free for all players while they are active. That reward track is 20 tiers, and this event slash operation lasts from four to six weeks now there are some other things that you can do where you can like pay to level up and get the premium version and stuff like that i'm not going to talk about that in this video because i'm not sure what it's going to look like but we can definitely talk about it when it act actually launches so before you used to go through the event passes by doing the challenges but now that's just match xp so that's better season five has two operations the second one is winter contingency three and that will be from december 19th until the end of season and five and we're going to talk about you know what's going to be coming with that later on in the video but the first one that's coming next week is combined arms no not the destiny game mode but this will have a free 20 tier operation pass featuring rock sasha sasha themed rewards now another thing to note is that the mountain dew game fuel halo 3 refueled map pack thing is also coming on november 14th now i haven't seen anything alluding to that those two things are going to be part of the same event but there's a lot of content coming on november 14th it looks like now i'm going to put up the combined fire operation pass rewards and you'll notice there's a lot of flying vehicle emblems kind of strange things like the saber the broadsword, the long sword things that we can't really fly i don't know why that is i just wanted to point it out Something else you'll notice is from the official, like, preview art for Combined Arms is that there's two Spartans, but there's also an Elite and a Jackal, and the Jack like, clearly they're, like, hanging out together. The Jackal's like, hop on, bro, we're going mongoose hunting. Now, I know that we're supposed to get Firefight later on in the season, so I don't think that this is going to be Firefight-based, but is it is it going to be, like, PvE-based, where you get to team up with some Jackals and some Elites and go fight up? I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't been able to see anything about this event. I haven't seen a leak about it either. Another thing is that it's going to change the main menu background as well. You'll see Prism instead of the Forbidden Temple background. That's good. I think that that's you need to do that, actually. You need to make the game feel more and more unique when there is an event or an operation, excuse me. And speaking of unique, it's looking like the Winter Contingency will also have holiday slash snow themed remake maps. The one that I've seen is Live Fire and it's got some snow, some snow men. So that's very cool. Going back to the teaser trailer that we watched at the beginning of the video where it's Fear the Pink Mist, obviously, you know, Prism is a huge... Not selling point for this season, but it's like one of the best looking maps I've ever seen in Halo. And they're really leaning into the pink mist, needler stuff. So again, I don't know how that's supposed to like coincide with the event. Nothing is really given away in this. It just shows the logo at the end. But yeah, also the Mark V 
came out, it's uh, 2,200 credits, which is 20 bucks, and then you get 20 or 200 extra credits. So it's basically $20. I don't know how I feel about that. I wanted to get it. I am undecided as of right now. It's good looking. I wish there was... It was cheaper or you could just earn it. I don't know. It should have been an operations reward, maybe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below how you all feel about all of this. Are you excited for the new event? How do you feel about the Mark V armor kit? Not even like, you know, it's not a core and it's not something that can be like cross-core compatible, I guess, with like the helmet. I don't know. Gotta check more into it. But that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. It greatly helps my channel out. Puts us in the algorithm. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!